Hi, welcome to Online Appliance Tech Today. We're going to work on the new GE front load washer, the GFW model. So if your model starts with this, this video is for you. This is for error codes in diagnostic mode. To place in diagnostic mode, you'll hold the start button down, start pause, and you can turn to the left or right, eight clicks. So as you can see here, I went counterclockwise, eight clicks. So I let go of the start button and we're in diagnostic mode. So to go through your test, you can just rotate clockwise and press start to activate the test. So test mode six actually activates the inlet valve for one of the valves. So this is uh, just an example. So here in this video, I would actually pull up the error codes first and then go to the test for that error. So you'll press the start button to stop the test and just rotate the knob to the next test you would like to test and hit the start button. And basically you'll just go back and forth with to start to activate and deactivate. Since we have water in the tub, now I'm going to show you just for one more example, we're going to press the start button to stop this test and we're going to rotate the knob to test 12 and then we'll press the start button and this will activate the drain pump. And at this point, all the water will be pumped out of the machine. So now let's go to test mode 26. This will activate the spin cycle. So this will amp up the inner tub at a high speed. So hit the start button. And like I stated earlier, I will leave parts and sections of the this whole video. So if you have error code, say six, you can just go to the part of the video instead of watching the whole video. But first thing first, we do have to pull up the error code first. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to pull up the error code. So just rotate the knob to test one. Then you'll hit the start button and then it'll pull up the error code. So as you can see, there's the error code 18. And at this point, you can just go to the test mode, but wish I'll go over here soon in this video. Service mode entry with fault code and part activation Error 1 lock monitor. This fault is set if the motor shaft speed exceeds 45 RPM for 5 seconds while in spin mode and unlocked. This fault can also occur if the basket is manually spun by hand. Check the door lock using service mode spin test 14. Check door lock harness connectors both at the main board and at the door lock assembly. Replace door lock if this happens frequently. Test mode 14 spin Pressing start pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, four minutes. No OOB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches zero after the test is exited. Error code 2 door monitor means the control did not get door close signal from switch while motor was moving. Could mean the switch didn't close or control didn't get the signal because of lack of connection. Check the door lock using service mode Spin test 14. Check door lock harness connectors, both at the main board and at the door lock assembly. Replace door lock if this happens frequently. Test mode 14. Pressing start, pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required, and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, four minutes. No OOB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches ease after the test is exited. Error code three, locked rotor monitor. For five straight seconds, control not seeing signal changes indicating the motor is turning while trying to spin. 
could mean the motor isn't rotating or control didn't get the signal because of lack of connection. Things to check. Physically check the washer for anything preventing motor movement. Verify hall sensor is connected to the main harness. Put washer in service mode and run test 14. Spin. If hall sensor is bad or disconnected, the basket will start to spin normally and then stop spinning after approximately 5 seconds. Ensure hall sensor is properly connected and positioned on the motor. If basket spins for approximately 15 seconds, the hall sensor is most likely not the cause. Second, measure the resistance of each motor phase winding. If TCO is tripped, wait approximately 45 minutes for TCO to reset and make sure motor moves freely and that nothing is jamming it. Replace motor if it does not. Check the door lock using service mode spin test 14. If unit doesn't spin, replace inverter board or the main board. Error 6, critical flood level by pressure. Control received an extended period of pressure readings that is nearing overflow levels. Voltage output must be present. Could mean water did get that high due to briefly stuck water valve. Voltage output of sensor too high for actual water level because of sensor or water in pressure tube increasing pressure. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through main board. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Check water valve operation and for any leaking water valves. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 116 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Test 10 pressure sensor. Pressing start, pause will start the test. Door will lock while test is active. Pressure sensor test will have a timeout. Cold valve will turn on at start of the test. The test will watch for the following pressure levels. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At start of the test, the following LEDs will start blinking. Extra light, light, normal, heavy, extra heavy. As each pressure level is crossed, the corresponding LED will stop blinking. Error code 3, locked rotor monitor. Determines if appropriate pressure changes are seen during fill. It assumes there is a pressure leak, a clog in the pressure hose system delaying the increase in pressure, or a significant amount water leaking out. Check to make sure house water supply valves are turned on. Check water valve operation. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through top cover grommet. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 116 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Test 10 pressure sensor. Pressing start, pause will start the test. Door will lock while test is active. Pressure sensor test will have a timeout. Cold valve will turn on at start of the test. The test will watch for the following pressure levels. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At start of the test, the following LEDs will start blinking. Extra light, light, normal, heavy, extra heavy. As each pressure level is crossed, the corresponding LED will stop blinking. Error 9, door switch redundancy. Three cycles have been completed without any door opening. Open and close the door to clear the fault. Check harness and connectors that go to the door switch. Use test 13 to ensure system can detect the correct door state with the spin and rinse LEDs. Consumer education that four cycles cannot be run back to back without opening and closing the door. If the fault will not clear, replace the door lock. Test 13 door switch. Pressing start, pause, will start the test. When the door is open, the soil level light LED will blink. When the door is closed, the soil level extra light LED will blink. Closing the door causes another status LED to blink. Error 15 water temp sensor invalid. 
the thermistor is disconnected, not present, or has failed. Run service mode heater and thermistor test 20 to verify heater and thermistor. Check thermistor resistance from connector J701 on the control board. Validate the resistance matches the table in mini manual. Check the heater resistance from connector J503 on the control board from pin 4 to 5. Check wiring harness and connections. Replace thermistor or heater if resistance is out of spec. Test mode 20 heater and thermistor. Pressing start pause will start the test. Heater test should perform child safety. The door must be closed and locked during the test. If the door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, a steam fill routine will be performed. After fill, the heater will turn on and will have a timeout, 5 minutes. The SSD display will show the thermistor temperature. Air 17 dry load sense timeout. Dry load sense times out and moves to the next part of the cycle selected. This occurs when the washer is not reaching the target speed within a defined time limit for the load type selected. Check for water in the bottom of the tub. If so, drain and try cycle again. Check the basket for excessive friction. Basket should spin freely. If not, find source of friction and remove it. This can also happen if a cycle is started with wet clothes. Consumer education to doesn't load the washer with wet clothes. Error 18, drain pump clearing algorithm failed. Pressure sensor indicates water in the tub after attempting to drain. Fill tub using service mode. Test 7 and check drain pump operation using service mode test 12. Check drain hose for blockages. Confirm standpipe height is within recommended guidelines. If pump does not operate, check that the resistance of the pump matches resistance table and verify 120 vac while pump is operating at J5112. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through top cover grommet. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 116 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Error 19 UI state timeout. This will happen if a cycle is paused for greater than 24 hours or if the pressure sensor reads greater than 0.5 in while the machine is off for greater than 24 hours Check for leaking water valves. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Consumer education on leaving sopping wet items in basket for more than 24 hours. Pausing the machine for greater than 24 hours can cause this. Can be caused by out of balance. Can be caused by starting a cycle with the no spin option selected. Check the output voltage from the pressure sensor to ensure it matches the water level in the basket according to the pressure sensor chart. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 116 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Test mode 10 pressure sensor. Pressing start pause will start the test. Door will lock while test is active. Pressure sensor test will have a timeout. Cold valve will turn on at start of the test. The test will watch for the following pressure levels. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At start of the test, the following LEDs will start blinking. Extra light, light, normal, heavy, extra heavy. As each pressure level is crossed, the corresponding LED will stop blinking. Error 20, critical flood level by gallons. Water volume into the tub exceeded 41 gallons as calculated by the control. One, pressure tube is momentarily pinched, has water in it, partial blockage if flood fault 12 occurs. Two, low water pressure flow or permanent pressure system blockage if no flood fault 12 occurs. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through top cover grommet. 
Check pressure tube for trapped water. Check for any leaking water valves. Check home water pressure. Check the output voltage from the pressure sensor to ensure it matches the water level in the basket according to the pressure sensor chart. Error code 22, out of balance, OOB, during dry load sense. Large wet overload being washed. This is set if OOB condition is detected during dry load sense algorithm. Dry load sense will be abandoned and wet load sense will be started. Check for excessively OOB load, customer education on how to distribute load. Check the basket for excessive friction or for being excessively out of round. Basket should spin freely and without wobble. If friction is found, remove it. If basket is bad, replace it. Check speed sensor for loose connection to the motor. Error 23 critical door lock failure. Cycle canceled due to inability to reach desired door lock state. Verify the door is closed properly if door does not close freely. Lift the door until it closes freely. Replace door lock and door lock harness then run below actions. Check the door lock using service mode spin test 14 to ensure door lock operation. Verify that the door lock is not blocked by any external debris. Check door switch continuity at J513 on the control. Check continuity of door lock position, opened or closed. Check for proper operation of door lock. 120 vac while activating. Check door lock wiring harness from the control to lock assembly. Test mode 14. Pressing start to pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, 4 minutes. No OOB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches no after the test is exited. Error 24 door logic failure. Door lock failure. This fault is set if the system perceives the door to be both open and locked for 5 consecutive seconds. Replace door lock and door lock harness, then run below actions. Check the door lock using service mode spin test 14 to ensure door lock operation. Check harness and connections from the control to the door lock assembly for damage and continuity. Run a spin cycle. Pull up on the door during spin for more than 5 seconds and see if this fault occurs. Test mode 14. Pressing start or pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, 4 minutes. No OOB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches no after the test is exited. Error 25, 65, pressure sensor, dropout pressure sensor, continuous gallons monitor. This fault is set when the pressure is above 6 in, then later drops to less than 1 in, for 5 seconds without draining. Check to make sure house water supply valves are turned on. Check water valve operation. Check for proper drain pipe and stand pipe height. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through control board. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 1 to 16 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Test mode 10 pressure sensor. Pressing start pause will start the test. Door will lock while test is active. Pressure sensor test will have a timeout. Cold valve will turn on at start of the test. The test will watch for the following pressure levels 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At start of the test, the following LEDs will start blinking extra light, light, normal, heavy, extra heavy. As each pressure level is crossed,
The corresponding LED will stop blinking. Error 26. Out of balance. OB. Ended final spin. Washer detected an out of balance load and was unable to reach final target spin speed. Run drain and spin cycle to ensure basket reaches final spin speed and the spin LED does not blink. A blinking spin LED indicates that an out of balance was detected during final spin. Check for any basket, loose or damage or abnormal noise. Check to make sure unit is firmly seated on all four legs, doesn't rock, and is leveled. If washer spins properly, Educate consumer on how to properly load and distribute their clothes in the washer basket to prevent an OB. Error 27, IMP overheated. Inverter over temperature, 221 degrees for 5 seconds. Check whether drum is easy to tumble. Check that motor has no signs of over temperature. Reset inverter board by unplugging washer for 30 seconds. Run a drain and spin by selecting rinse plus spin cycle and select no rinse by pressing rinse until both extra and normal lights turn off. Enter service mode and check that fault has cleared. If fault persists or unit does not spin, replace inverter board. Error 29 drive system self check fault. MCU failed self check. One fault over the checking process, ROM, RAM, CPU registers, stack, clock, triggers the fault. The self checking is continuously performed by MCU. Run a spin test in service mode to verify motor operation. If no movement, check rotor, stator, harness, and connectors for damage. If above components are good, replace inverter board. Error 30, main board over voltage. When connected to power, voltage is higher than 160 VEC. Check if the voltage is higher than 160 V. If voltage is normal, replace the main control board. Error 31 mainboard self-check failed. MCU failed self-check. One fault over the checking process, ROM, RAM, CPU registers, stack, clock, AD, triggers the fault. The self-checking is continuously performed by MCU. Check door lock, door switch, water temperature sensor. Check harness and connections. If above is checks good, replace the main control board. Error 32. 77. Critical door lock failure. Can't unlock door. Cycle canceled due to inability to unlock door. Verify the door is closed properly. If door is not closed freely, lift the door until closed free. Replace door lock and door lock harness, then run below actions. Check the door lock using service mode spin test 14 to ensure door lock operation. Verify that the door lock is not blocked by any external debris. Check door switch continuity at J513 on the control. Check continuity of door lock position, opned or closed. Check for proper operation of door lock, 120 VC while activating. Check door lock wiring harness from the control to lock assembly. Test mode, 14 spin. Pressing start pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, four minutes. No OB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches zero after the test is exited. Errors 33, 34, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 66, 67, 68, 69, 71, 2, 73, 74, 83 inverter fault. Run service mode spin test 14 to full completion. If cycle fully completes, no further action required. Check line voltage for 102 VAC to 132 VAC. Check all inverter board harness connections. Check motor TCO continuity at J502 inverter board. If open, should reset after 45 minutes. 
Check for continuity through each pair of motor phase windings. If any windings found open, replace motor. If the above repair actions don't clear the fault, replace inverter board. Test mode, 14 spin. Pressing start pause will start the test. Spin test will perform child safety. The door must be closed to start the test. If door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, the mode will shift to spin if required and the door will be locked. When mode shift is complete, the unit will begin spinning. Spin test will have a timeout, four minutes. No OB detection during the spin. The spin will stop when the test is exited. The door will unlock once the speed reaches zero after the test is exited. Errors 35, 59, 60, 61, 63, 64. Accelerometer faults. Any of these faults can be set if the accelerometer board reports a fault. Run service mode spin test 14 to full completion. If cycle fully completes, no further action required. Check accelerometer board harness connections. If the above repair actions don't clear the fault, replace accelerometer board. Error 37 heater. Fault is set if the thermistor doesn't see at least 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat rise after the heater has been on for 5 minutes. Run service mode heater and thermistor test 20 to verify heater and thermistor. Check thermistor resistance from connector J701 on the control board. Validate the resistance matches the table in mini manual. Check the heater resistance from connector J503 on the control board from pin 4 to 5. Check wiring harness and connections. Replace thermistor or heater if resistance is out of spec. Test mode 20 heater and thermistor. Pressing start pause will start the test. Heater test should perform child safety. The door must be closed and locked during the test. If the door is open, the lock LED will blink. When started, a steam fill routine will be performed. After fill, the heater will turn on and will have a timeout five minutes. The SSD display will show the thermistor temperature. Error code 38, 39, 40, 84 vent damper. Fault is set if close open feedback is not fails after five seconds. Run service mode damper test 24 to verify feedback, open close, check wiring harness and connections, replace damper if damper feedback open close is not detected. Test mode 24 damper. Pressing. Start pause will toggle the damper state. When the damper feedback indicates that the damper is open, the soil level light LED will blink. When the damper feedback indicates that the damper is closed, the soil level extra light LED will blink. Error code 57, door lock fault water above, door by pressure. This fault is set when door is unlocking while water level detected by pressure sensor is above than threshold. Check pressure tube for trapped water. Check each valve's operation. Use pressure sensor test 10 to ensure correct pressure sensor operation. Check pressure tube for pinches where it goes through top cover grommet. Ensure pressure chamber port is free from obstruction using drill bit size 116 in by hand so as not to drill through the inner wall. Test mode 10, pressure sensor. Pressing start, pause will start the test. Door will lock while test is active. Pressure sensor test will have a timeout. Cold valve will turn on at start of the test. The test will watch for the following pressure levels, three, four, five, six, seven. At start of the test, the following LEDs will start blinking. Extra light, light, normal, heavy, extra heavy. As each pressure level is crossed, the corresponding LED will stop blinking. Well, I hope this video was helpful. And please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. Thank you.